What's up guys, Jay Beebs here, back with the 11th episode of the Youth Academy Road to Glory with Newport County. To be honest, if this is the first episode you're watching of the series, I apologize. Each episode is three months, and this is going to be January and Mar through March, and nothing's really happening. We're not making any deep cup runs, and I apologize for that. But the next episode is going to be the end of the season, it should be climatic, and other episodes are a little bit better. But yeah, starting things off, scouting, Morocco, three months, just any. You know, haven't done it in a while, just, just, let's just find some players. Let's stop trying to look for specifics. Let's just hope with our five-star, five-star scout, you know, just finds the next legend. Same goes for Algeria, three months, any. And the Ivory Coast, three months, any. So, this man... This man is the per I, what I, exactly what I wanted from any of our youth scouts. Mar Marajus Dargis, six foot four left back. I'm converting him to left wing back. Eighty four to ninety four potential. Four star weak foot. I mean this this guy is going to be a weapon for us. I mean just look at the man. He's the perfect left wing back, which means I can pro promote him, start him. He's gonna be playing every minute of the game. No juice. Simones, six foot seven defensive mid, five star weak foot, good passing, good defending, good physicalness, good pace. I don't know if I'm going to play him at def defensive mid or center back, but either way, he's going to be a weapon. Roli Kusik, the right wing back with 85 to 94 potential. He's going to be starting at right wing back. We're really turning the page here. Rahardis. Belotus, converting him from center forward to center mid. I mean, look at that passing. I mean, he's, look at dribbling in the passing. He's going to be good for us. We're really starting to turn a page here. I mean, these last couple of guys we just got from Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia really have started, really turned the tide for us. And we're really now really going in a good direction with the Youth Academy. Matthew Dolan's been sold to Cardiff City for just under a million pounds. Just bringing in the money. That Icelandic guy that I got in the first season, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name again. He's been sold to CD Lugo in Spain for 400,000 pounds. Return on investment. Good deal. Javier Suarez is going to SV Waldhof. He just never really got a chance to play for 790,000 pounds. Liam Shepard, who has now been benched in favor of Kusik, has been sold to FC Basel for 1.1 million pounds. Anisimov. I'm not going to try to pronounce his first name. Russian center back, six foot three. He's getting promoted. He has to go up, and honestly, could use him for some depth. So yeah, we are still top of the league. We definitely lost our cushion. We're no longer comfortably ahead. I mean, if MK Dons win their next two games in hand, they're first in the league. So that's not exactly good. That's not exactly where we want to be, but also can't complain that where we're at because even if we don't win the league, we still should get promoted. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode of the Youth Academy Road to Glory. A little bit boring, really quick episode, but we needed this episode. I mean, we saw those players we got. We got multiple starters on the squad right now. So hope, next episode, hopefully it's boring because we hopefully easily win the league. But I have a gut feeling it, it, we're going to do something. We're going to mess up somehow. So if you want to see how we do that, subscribe. All right, yeah, cool. It is Jay Beebs signing off.